Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Wayne Fruits game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play, as well as puzzle and logic and fun games to play, and teaching tools, and there's never any membership or sign-up required. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. You click the rules to see how to play. It's fairly simple to play, but uh, some of the late levels can be challenging. And what I'm going to do in this game is show you how you would solve the levels. And it's really not a walkthrough because the levels change every time you play it. So I couldn't show you how to what would be the correct answer for a particular level. But you will see how to solve the levels. Now let's go ahead and click play. Now the first couple of levels will have one type of fruit on a scale. And so you can see their weights here. And it's pretty obvious by looking at this that the plum is weighs more than the lemon and the ap apple. So let's go ahead and click plum, the plum, right, and we would go into the next level. Same thing with this level. <clears throat> There's one fruit per scale, and we can tell that again the plum weighs more than the apple and the other fruit, which is a strawberry. Now, level three is a little bit different, and in the fact that you actually have two fruits on one scale. I'm not going to solve this, but I will tell you how to solve, how to figure it out yourself. The way you would do this is you could look at the lemon, and you see that it weighs a little over a pound, and the apple and the bananas weigh a little less than a pound, so really the lemon so far weighs more than the Banana, so you can eliminate the bananas, but we need to use the weight of the banana because in real life, on this particular scale, if you wanted to find the weight of the uh, tomato here, you would actually only have the tomato on there. But since we have both of these, we have the combined weights. And in real life, you would actually remove the banana or subtract the banana or take it away. And the effect that would have on the scale would be subtracting the weight of the banana from the total weight of both of them. So if we know the, uh, and you could actually do this by setting up a subtraction problem, having the exact weight, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of estimate because I can tell by looking already that I think I know the tomato weighs more than anything, than, all, than the banana and the lemon, I should say, because the banana weighs, let's go ahead and say a pound, and I'm doing a little estimation, and together the tomato and the banana weighs three, so if I took off the banana, it's going to roughly reduce the weight by a pound, so I'd bring it down to two pounds, and so two pounds is heavier than the bananas and the lemon, so on this level, you would actually see that the uh, tomato weighs more than all the others, and we go on to the next level, and this level plays us pretty much the same. I'm going to go ahead and skip to a different level that shows you, we've seen that before. That's uh, Now this gets a little bit different because now we have two um, scales with multiple fruit on them. So on this, what you would need to do is you've got the uh, weight of the pear, and I, let's go ahead and eight, see how much it weighs, eight, nine, 10, about 11 ounces. I'm gonna say 11, but I may uh, let's go ahead and use that figure, 11. So the lemon would be, the weight of the lemon would be the way the, this total of those together, the lemon and the pear minus the weight of the pear. And so you've got 24, 25, 15, 17, 20, 29. And minus, we said 11, so that's 18 that the uh, 18 ounces that the lemon weighs. And that's more than the pear, obviously. Now, we don't know what the apple is, but we do know the lemon's 18 ounces. So this the, the apple and the lemon together are 42, and I subtract 18 from that gives me 24. So the apple is the one that obviously weighs more than... Um, weighs the most because the apple weighs 24. I think we said the uh, lemon weighs 18 and this weighs 11. So it would be the apple that weighs the most on this one. 
and we get a little verification there. Now, level eight is a little bit difficult, more a little bit more difficult, only because now you have fruits, two fruits on every scale, but you notice here that you have two of the same objects on the scale, so they weigh the same. So you could you can look at this and two tomatoes together weigh four pounds so we know a tomato weighs two pounds now the question is what do the uh, orange and the grapes weigh so if we take away the uh, weight of the tomato from this one to which is two pounds you're going to see that the uh, weight of the grapes are going to be um, a little less than a pound and actually since we know that, if you take off, say, roughly a little bit less than a pound, that pulls the orange down to under two pounds. And we already know that the tomato weighs two pounds, so the tomato would be the heaviest of the fruit. And that brings us to level nine, where we can see that uh, there's uh, th two fruit on each scale and none of them are the same so the way we would figure this one out is if let's look at the first and second scale they both have a pair on it so, uh, so by looking at the scales we would it had one has a, a pair and a grape another one has a pair and an apple the one the combined total of that weighs more will tell you which one of the grape or the apple weighs more so if you look at the uh, scale here you can tell that the apple and the pear weighs quite a bit more than the pears and the grapes. So we know that the apple and grape, it, the apple is weighs more than the grape. So now the real question is, how does a, is a, does a pear relate to the apple? Is it greater than or less than weight wise? So the way we'd figure that out, if we look at the first and third scale, you notice they both have grapes on them. But one has apple and one has a pear. So by looking at these two scales, we'll figure out if the apple or the pear weighs the most. So we look at this scale and you're a little over two pounds and the one with the grapes and the pear weighs more than uh, two and a half pounds. So we know that the pear weighs more than the apple and we know that the apple weighs more than grapes so we can safely choose the pear and we go on to the next level. Okay, well, that's kind of runs through how the different levels you might come up with on the game. Like I said, they'll be a little bit different. They won't be like you see the uh, in the video. They'll they're a little bit random, so you're going to see some different fruits and uh, weights and stuff like that. So I hope you have fun with this game. I hope the video helps some, and thanks for watching.